Searching Eric from EBSCO, a two-minute tip for education students. What is Eric? Well, Eric stands for Educational Resources Information Center. The name tells you a whole lot. It's an indexing system that began back in 1964. The goal was to embrace all education research. Why use Eric? Well, it's the most well-known database in the field of education. You're searching 50 years of research at one time. Uh, it's more than just journal articles. It's indexing books, reports, and other items. It complements Education Source Premier and Psych Info. All three databases have the same interface and they can be searched simultaneously. And it has many full text articles. How do you get started? You could start at the library homepage, www.lib.purdue.edu. Let's start at the library homepage. Click on the database tab and click on E so we can scroll down and find the ERIC database. Way down here near the bottom. There it is. Click on it and that will load the ERIC database. Once we're at EBSCOhost and we're searching the ERIC database, let's go to Advanced Search and let's search for Mathematics Anxiety as a keyword. The system responds with a thousand items. Um, let's narrow our search by adding a concept secondary like um, high school. So let's just add that in. Now we're down to 345 um, articles and we can see it is picking up secondary school students. If you'd like to narrow your search even further, look over here on the sidebar. Uh, so for example, we could limit to peer-reviewed. Now we're down to 140 articles and uh, you can look at the sidebar and see that most of them are academic journal articles but actually one of them is an ERIC document. An ERIC document is not a journal article. Okay, um, now we're ready to begin scrolling through our list of articles picking out the ones that we're interested in. As you scroll through the list you can click on the magnifying glass to see a little bit more information about the article, especially the abstract. And any articles you're interested in coming back to later, just click on the little folder button and they will add them to your folder, which is very much like your shopping cart. When you're ready to um, look at all the ones you've saved, you go over here and click on Folder View. From our folder, there are various different things we can do with this list of articles. We could print the list, we could email it, we could save it to the hard drive, or we could export it. That would be exporting it to a bibliographic management program like EndNote or Zotero. Um, but one of the main things I want to show you how to do is how to get through the full text of the articles because that's one of the most important things. Now I'm going to change the page options here to title only. Um, just to simplify what we're looking at here. So we're looking at five articles that we put in our folder and the first one is available in full text from Eric. If we uh, clicked here we would load the full text uh, of the article. Uh, so the Eric database has the rights to those full text. The second article, uh, EBSCO has contracted for the PDF and the HTML format so if you clicked on either of these two links you would load the full text in that format. The bottom two are a little bit different. Neither EBSCO nor ERIC has the rights to the full text of either of these two articles. So they're recommending that we ask Purdue if Purdue owns them. So let's click on this link here. So yes, as a matter of fact, we do own this journal or do have access to this journal. And if you click on the Find Online, uh, you could click on the ProQuest Research Library. That would load the ProQuest. Um, version of this article. Going back to our list, let's look at the fourth one in our folder. And this time the database tells us that there is no online access available. So neither EBSCO nor ERIC nor the Purdue Libraries has access to this article. But if you click here, you could request interlibrary loan. You can log on to the interlibrary loan interface and um, the Purdue Interlibrary Loan Office would try to get that article for you and they'd probably get it in a digital format and email you a link so that you could get the full text of the article.